Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Kuiper, and when you're talking about rocket launch facilities, many of us have heard of Cape Canaveral out in Florida. It's where they used to launch the space shuttle. It's where they launched the Saturn V rockets that took astronauts to the moon. But we also have a significant launch facility in California, Vandenberg Space Force Base, in between San Francisco and Los Angeles, and they do quite a few launches from Vandenberg, and we've seen them in Central California many times. And why do we have two separate facilities? Why don't we just launch them all from Cape Canaveral? There are a few other facilities in addition to Vandenberg and Cape Canaveral. There's one in Virginia called Wallops Island, and then Elon Musk has a Starbase facility down in Brownsville, Texas. But as far as volume of launches go that we're still doing, most of them either come from Cape Canaveral, Florida, or from uh, Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. How can we have the two? It has to do with where the rocket is eventually going to be going. Is it going to be going in outer space or is it going to be orbiting the Earth? And what kind of orbit is it going to be doing in the Earth? Now, it's good, if it's going to be doing an orbit like this, where it just follows the same position over the Earth, uh, it rotates around it, that's called geosynchronous orbit. And that's where your weather satellites go or some communication satellites go where they appear to be in the sky over the same place for days and days and weeks or years at a time, basically. And that's a very high orbit. That's up there. 23,000 miles above the Earth, and it's able to use the gravity of the Earth and the rotation of the Earth to pretty much stay in that same spot there uh, with very little use of fuel, except for just little occasional maneuverings around, uh, and it's able to stay there for quite a long time. There is a different kind of orbit that's much closer to the Earth. That's called a polar orbit. And that polar orbit is only 8,000 miles from the Earth. And that's where they do a lot of mapping, things like remote sensing as well, where we can really get in the nitty gritty of what's going on down in the Earth. And that goes from the South Pole to the North Pole, and which is why they call it a polar orbit. Uh, and that's a much different orbit. They can map the whole Earth there in two or three uh, rotations there, two or three times rather, over the course of one single day. So it all boils down to where is the rocket going once it's launched? Is it going out into outer space or is it going into some kind of geosynchronous orbit there? If so, then it's going to be launched usually from Cape Canaveral. And the reason for that is if, heaven forbid, there's some kind of accident with the rocket after it's launched, well, it could just do a safe splashdown in the Atlantic Ocean. If it's going into some kind of polar orbit where it's going to be doing some mapping at a lower elevation, then it's probably going to be launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base for pretty much the same reason there. If, heaven forbid, there's some kind of accident with the rocket after launch, then it could just splash down down to the south of Point Conception there out in the Pacific Ocean. Hence the reason for two separate launch facilities in the United States.